Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'll be taking a basic topic in biology. Classification of living things. If you know you are new to this channel, please kindly press the subscribe button and put on the notification so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. In today's class, I'll be going through the very brief history of classification and I'll go through the taxonomic rank as well as the modern classification of living things. Let's quickly go through the brief history of classification. Aristotle was the first to genetically make attempt to classify living organisms in which all living organisms were actually grouped into two categories, the plants and the animals. Why Carinus Linus made a huge attempt in this place, he divided living organisms into two kingdoms. You have the kingdom Animalia and the kingdom Plantae. Though that was a commendable effort, but it's actually no longer in use. However, Linus actually invented the binomial system of nomenclature, where living organisms are actually assigned two names, the generic name and the specific name or the species name. Now, human being, for example, we have our scientific uh, nomenclature is actually Homo sapiens. Right? The Homo is actually a generic name for the human species, and the uh, um, sapiens is the specific name. So, this system of naming, uh, li giving living organisms two names, the first the generic name, and the second the specific name, is actually regarded as the binomial system of nomenclature, which was uh, invented by Carolus Linus. And this system is actually still very important today. The third name is Ernest Haeckel. And he actually proposed the third kingdom. In this case, he divided living organisms into three kingdoms. We have the kingdom Protista, we have the kingdom Plantae, and we have the kingdom Animalia. In this case, he separated the protists from the plants and animals. Why we have the a fourth person in the habit, Copeland divided living organisms into four kingdoms. He proposed the four kingdom concept of classification. In this case, he, he separated bacteria, the blue green algae, as well as the prokaryote from the others and assigned them to a new kingdom regarded as well the kingdom Monera. So, kingdom Monera now uh, comprises of the bacteria, comprised of the the uh, prokaryotic organism as well as the blue-green algae. Then we also retain the uh, kingdom protista, the kingdom plantae, and kingdom animalia, which is four kingdom concept. Robert Whittaker, in 1969, proposed the five kingdom concept, in which case he separated the fungi and assigned the fungi a new kingdom. In this case, we have the kingdom Monera, which we already know the organism under. We have the kingdom protista, we have the kingdom fungi, we have the kingdom animalia, as well as kingdom plantae, right? Why, with the evolution of um, modern equipment in genetics and in molecular biology, we have this group of scientists comprised of the Charles Wilson, the Otto, Otto Handler, Candler, and the Mark Willis in 1990 proposing a different category of different uh, um, dimension or a, a different concept of classification. In this case, they assigned all living organisms into three domains. Remember, previously, the kingdom was regarded as the highest level or taxonomic rank. But this recent classification in 1990 assigned all living organisms into a higher a taxonomic rank and they named it the domain domain and they divide uh, organism into the three domain which is domain Ache, we have the domain bacteria and the domain eukaryota or some will say eukarya right the name is actually written on the board we have the Ache, we have the bacteria and the domain eukaryota this is actually based on molecular biology classification Right, so let's quickly take a look at the taxonomic rank present in living organisms. So, in previous uh, taxonomic rank, before now, we used to have the kingdom as the highest taxonomic rank. 
but that is no longer the case. Scientists now, majority of scientists now accept the fact that domain is now the current highest taxonomic rank, followed by the kingdom. We have the phylum for the animal or division for plant. We have the class, the order, the family, the genus, and the species. Please take note that the species is the lowest taxonomic rank, while the domain is the highest taxonomic rank. Right? So let's now take a look at the modern system of classification, which is actually based on molecular biology. Right? In 1990, Rosa and his colleague actually proposed a new system containing three domains and six kingdoms, as you can see on the board. And the three domains are domain archie. We have the bacteria domain, and we have the eukaryota or the eukarya, right? Under this domain archie, we have just one kingdom. Under we have the archie bacteria. Under the domain bacteria, we have just one kingdom, the eubacteria kingdom. Why? Under the eukaryota or the eukarya, we have four kingdoms which is actually the kingdom protista, the kingdom fungi, the kingdom plantae, and the kingdom animalia, or animalia, right? Now, let's take a look at individual domain. Let's take a look at domain archie. We we'll just classify it to the phyla level, right? So, the domain archie, we have the domain archie, we have the the, the kingdom order, the archae bacteria, then we have some of the phyla being listed here. You have the Uri Shota, we have the Temu Protea, and we have Kara Shogota. Why under the second domain, the domain bacteria, we have the kingdom. We have the kingdom here, we have the Eubacteria kingdom. Then the phyla under this, there are so many numerous phyla, just a few that is actually listed here under the um, the kingdom, you bacteria, we have the protobacteria, we have the feminicutus, we have the cyanobacteria, we have the spirochetas, and so many other phyla, phyla under the um, kingdom, you bacteria, as I mentioned earlier. And the phyla are actually listed here, we have the, some of the phyla are the protobacteria, the feminicutus, Feminicutes or the Basi Lota, we have the spirochetes, we have the cyanobacteria, up to nine phyla. And as you are aware, the field of classification is constantly evolving. And each day, scientific research are constantly improving on classification. And there is maybe other. Um, uh, other uh, classification being put forward as a result of evolution of what data and research that is currently ongoing. The last domain which we we'll talk about today is the domain eukarya or eukaryota or eukarya. All right. The domain is highlighted here, is listed here. Then the kingdom under this domain, as you can see, is the protista. We have the kingdom fungi, we have the kingdom plantae, and the kingdom animalia. Right, the kingdom protista. I already have a video on that. You can check up on my channel of biology access. You see protozoa part, uh, part one, part two, and all that on kingdom. A lot of work I've, um, a lot, I've already have a, a, a video on the protozoa. Other um, kingdom here, we substitute video. I'll put this video and I'll classify them because they are actually large. Um, kingdoms, as you know. If you know you have any question, this is just a brief classification of living organisms. If you know you have any question, you are always free to send us a message at biologyaccess at gmail.com. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.